And finally, there's something called hoarding disorder, where the person refuses to discard things, even though they have no real value. And the thought of discarding things causes the patient a lot of anxiety or distress. Now, before you diagnose your mom because she's got a jar full of old buttons or a Ziploc bag full of rubber bands that she's keeping just in case she ever needs them, to make the diagnosis of hoarding disorder, the hoarding has to cause some impairment in social or occupational functioning. So if the rest of the family moves out of the house and won't have anything to do with the patient, that's impaired social functioning.